Coffee with the Editor is proudly brought to you by IRZ. So thank you so much for joining me with Coffee for the Editor, although we have no coffee <laughs> right no, now. Yeah. Um, congratulations on, on your award. Thank you. Um, Transport Operator of the Year, that's quite, quite a nice achievement, especially for a young operation. Um, tell me a bit more about your submission and about the operation. Invitation from the uh, transport company. And also, your African magazine, magazine also invite us to uh, compete to participate in this uh, 2019 Africa Rail Transport Award. Really, uh, on the behalf of uh, EDR, I would like to thank you for giving this chance. So, as you know, the, it is a young uh, transport operator because it has almost one year. We are starting operations since January 2018, and uh, the operation is from Addis to Djibouti. So, bring this. One year we have achieved a great achievement, especially in the freight transportation. So as you know, 95% of our import export is in Djibouti ports, uh, before railway transports, uh, in land transports. So it takes more than three days to transport from Djibouti to Mojo ports. But now, a day, we're minimizing from three days to less than one day, almost 14 hours. Within 14 hours, it arrives in Mojo dry port from uh, Djibouti uh, port. In addition to this, also we are uh, uh, improving the tourism sector because there is a great movement of people from Djibouti to Ethiopia. So we are making the relation between the two countries uh, because they are easily moved. There is a passenger train uh, daily from Ethiopia from Addis to Djibouti. Again, the next day from Djibouti to uh, Addis with a cheap uh, price. So people they uh, really they are interested in this. Also. And then the local for local people along the corridors really we create a job creation. So there are people that are there involving starting from project also now in the operation also there are people, the local people are involving not only involvement but they are uh, taking some skill transfer from the Chinese. So it is uh, it's modern railway. We are using the Chinese standard so the people are the gets opportunity to skill transfer. And uh, again uh, well, since the whole line is fully electrified, we are uh, contributing in creating the three uh, environments for mm -hmm. the, the, the line is uh, fully electrified. This is the, the, the main artery for uh, Ethiopia, mm. if you consider us uh, Ethiopia's human. So, um, as Mavrat said, 90, over 90% of the imports export is done in these corridors because Ethiopia is a landlocked. Um, uh, I would like to add um, one point. It's, uh, Ethiopia is a very diverse nation, so we want the railway to be, you know, uh, the fiber to bring uh, social and political cohesion among the people. So it's an important project because it uh, runs uh, uh, through the corridor where over 70 percent of the Ethiopian population is uh, uh, residing, and over 70 percent of the population of Djibouti resides. So it's a very important uh, project for social. How big is the Ethiopian rail network? The planned uh, railway network for Ethiopia is uh, about 5,000. This is a new standard gauge uh, electrified railway line. Mm -hmm. uh, so we plan to build about 5,000 kilometers connecting the different corridors, uh, mining areas, industrial zones. Uh, we want to also connect uh, with neighboring countries because we want to make uh, projects more uh, uh, to have more regional relevance. So that would be with like South Sudan? With South Sudan, with Sudan two lines, with Kenya one line, with uh, Djibouti uh, two lines connecting to future ports mm -hmm. and also uh, we, we plan to connect with Eritrea too. So uh, all our railway lines, there are about eight corridors, among them uh, about seven of them have regional relevance going to the 
neighboring countries. So we have this uh, perspective where we selected the routes. So what, is the, what are the next few projects that are going to be rolled out? A number of projects. Uh, we're doing the pre-feasibility status of uh, project, the remaining projects. I mean, among the, uh, out of the 5,000 kilometers, a distributor is already been completed. Uh, there are two more projects we're running now. There are, uh, the physical achievement is going very well. Uh, in total, uh, from the 5,000, we only uh, constructed and under construction about 1,300, 1,400 kilometers. So the remaining projects are still in the pipeline. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're uh, exploring other avenues on how we develop the projects, like BOTs, PPP, now the legal framework in Ethiopia for the private sector involvement has been ratified. Uh, so that's a big milestone for us. So we're looking for partners to work with us on PPPs and BOTs. Okay, and then what is the rolling stock, your current rolling stock? What's your fleet look like? Yeah, our current rolling, so we're using the HXD1C, the new generation uh, locomotives. Uh, we're sourcing our locomotives and wagons currently from uh, China, CRC, main from the factory in China. Uh, so we have uh, over uh, 1,100 wagons and uh, 41 uh, locomotives. One light rail vehicle is also operating in this. Which you operate? Yeah. Yeah. Name? yeah. Um, this line will also be expanded. Yes. Is that part of the national plan or is that considered a separate project? Well, the distributive line, as I mentioned, is a very important uh, project. So, the, uh, out of the 756 kilometers, the double track section is only 100 kilometers. So in order to increase the efficiency and the line capacity, uh, we're planning to build some sidings, uh, put some more stations, connect the line to oil depots, uh, industrial uh, parts, uh, to the uh, dry ports, uh, some mining. So there are expansions on the plan for this line. So is there an opportunity for for other suppliers to enter the market, you're not just like tied in for a long-term contract with the Chinese. There is opportunities for suppliers in South Africa. Yeah, the opportunity there. Uh, I mean, we're not closed. We are very flexible. We want to make uh, all our procurements uh, as transparent as possible because uh, it's a public money. So uh, we are uh, open to uh, anyone who would like to be part of this. Day. Well, thank you very much for your time and congratulations again on, on your award.